which is going to be our first one. <laughs> Guys, I just laugh because I'm honestly in disbelief that I spent this much money on a handbag. The chokehold that Olive Green has on my life right now is a little bit upsetting. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 2023 handbag collection. This episode, I don't think it's gonna be an episode of Vlogmas. I think we're just gonna toss it right into the middle of Vlogmas, but it's not gonna be a part of it. It'll just be a bonus video, if you will. But I hope you guys are all enjoying the holiday season and spending time with your families because that is what is important. And I know I will probably contradict myself in showing you all these things right in the middle of the Christmas season, but I did wanna get this video out of the way before the end of the year and the year's almost over. So I have to film it during Vlogmas. And this kind of sprung upon me because my shelf in my closet was getting a little bit out of control and unorganized. And because I'm always like pulling bags in and out for like shooting and stuff and for everyday wear, it was just a little bit messy. So I took everything out, lined everything up and I was like, you know what, let me just film this video while I have everything out on the bed. And so we're gonna do it. So if you guys are new to my channel, then make sure you subscribe. I am a lifestyle and fashion creator, whatever you wanna call it. We do vlogs, fashion videos, hauls, styling, all that kind of stuff. So I would absolutely love to have you. And okay, one more thing I have to get out of the way before I get into everything is that this is not in any way to brag. And I feel like everyone says this before they do their luxury handbag collection, but I do have things in here that are of different price ranges. So it's not all luxury, but I would say like 80% of it is. I'm not meaning to brag about the things that I have or show off to anybody. It's really just the things that I have and to be helpful to other people. If you guys have the same style as me, or if like me, you're spending a good amount of money on a purchase and you wanna make sure that it's gonna be durable and hold up well and make sense for your lifestyle, then that's really what this video is geared toward. And just like showing you guys what I like, I am someone who believes in buying less items and spending more on the items, if that makes sense. So things that are gonna last forever, but that maybe are at a higher price point. These are definitely some of them at a higher price point. So just keep that in mind not bragging at all, just showing you guys what I have in my collection. So now that that's out of the way, we're just gonna dive into it. If you guys saw my last handbag collection, this one is very different. It's not gonna be like, oh, I added in two. It's like everything is different. <laughs> and I'm not gonna go as much into depth. We're just gonna make this very casual. I'm literally wearing Aritzia sweatpants on the bottom. So don't let this fool you. I also have a hair mask in. So it's just gonna be a very chatty, casual style. I have my Pride and Joy right here, which is going to be our first one. <laughs> Guys, I just laugh because I'm honestly in disbelief that I spent this much money on a handbag, but I'm still okay with it. it. Like for some odd reason, I'm still okay with it. So this was my absolute dream bag. If I needed to sell every single bag in my collection or if any circumstance <laughs> required me to get rid of all of my bags, I literally wouldn't care as long as I got to keep this one. This is the most timeless, classic, classy, chic handbag I've ever seen in my life. And I'm very, very grateful to own this. I ended up buying this when I was on a business trip, so I did get the tax back on it. So it was a little bit cheaper, but by no means can you use the word cheap when it comes to Chanel because the quality of it is super, super nice, but the price is also very, very high. So I will keep this for the rest of my life. This is the double flap in the size medium. I got a lot of questions on my Instagram of which size I have. I do have the medium and I don't think I would have been able to do the small in terms of the way that I wanted to wear it. I think that this alone seems like it fits a lot, but it really doesn't. Um, it fits all my essentials, like my phone, my lip gloss, all that kind of stuff. But really just for a bag I wanted to wear in the daytime or at night, the medium was a little bit more of a practical choice for me, especially if I was going to be spending money on a bag like this once in my life, I wanted to do it right. And to me, this was the right choice. Another question I get is if this is the caviar leather or the smooth, and I do have the smooth. Every Chanel sales associate will advise you to get the caviar because it is more durable. It's way more durable, I'll be honest with you. This is the lambskin. I am someone who's a little bit of a freak when it comes to taking care of my bags and this is also not an everyday bag for me so I ended up going with this because I liked the look of it better than getting the caviar and I've seen the caviar on other people I've seen it on Pinterest I've seen it in real life and the smooth leather just looked a little bit more classic to me 
even though you can't go wrong either way if you are someone who bangs your bag around a little bit then i would definitely suggest getting the caviar and it will last you a lot longer but i don't have a single scratch on this bag but that is because i'm very intentional of that fact um but there's just nothing else to say about it. It's my favorite bag out of my entire collection and that's why I wanted to start with it. The next little guy that we have here, I would say this is my most used bag out of my collection and it's my Polen Numero Un bag. I have this in the nano size, I'm pretty sure. But um, it fits everything. It's a bag that if I need to just run out, I throw all my stuff in here and I'm ready to go. This is very deceiving in the way that it holds so much stuff. So you can kind of see at the bottom, it gets really wide. I can throw my sunglasses in here, a phone, lip gloss, uh, card holder, all that kind of stuff. And it's really like my everyday essentials bag, especially since I do have it in this sort of textured leather. It helps with keeping up the maintenance on it and making sure that it's not going to have wear and tear show. The other thing is that it has these metal feeds, which I absolutely love. This is a bag that I recommend to people when you're not looking for something that's super, super high in a price point, but that you will get a lot of use out of and will also last the test of time in terms of style and durability. So this is like my all around favorite most used bag. So I wanted to show you guys this one second because obviously nothing compares to a Chanel in my opinion, but this bag is an absolute lifesaver in my wardrobe. It's also a very cool shape. It's very, very different. I think I did feature this one I either featured it in my last handbag video or it was just my review video, but I highly recommend Polen. I think they're an amazing brand. They now have a store in Soho, so I am keeping away from there because <laughs> I know that I'll wanna buy something, but this to me is my most favorite style from them and the most practical in terms of like shape and size and all that kind of stuff. So definitely recommend a Polen bag if you guys are looking for one that's a little bit more budget friendly, but still very classic. Okay, so bag number three, we're kind of going to put this into a category because I have a little trio here. So if you guys are not aware, I do work for a brand and I'm sure it will be apparent in this video. So just getting that out there before we start. But this is my Sac du Jour bag. This is probably my second most used bag in my collection. It is definitely more expensive, but I have it in this croc embossed leather. It's not real crocodile. I did not buy a $30,000 bag. It is croc embossed. It's the most durable leather ever. It has no scratches on it. I brought this to Europe, threw all my stuff in it. There's a zip pocket in it so you can keep things secure. There's a long strap so you can wear it crossbody. And I did go with the baby size. They are so weird with their sizing because the there's like luggage sizes but the largest for the handbag is called the medium oh my gosh am I gonna mess this up now I think it's no I think it's the sac de jour small and that's the largest size for the handbag and then we go down into the baby size and then the nano I think I got that right but this is the baby size and I just love it I can fit so much stuff in here it's very chic it's very minimal clean lines, basically everything that I love about the way that I dress is the minimal and like clean lines, kind of like chic Parisian aspects. And I feel like that is everything encompassed into this bag. It has a little padlock here as a kind of detail. And then the other thing is that I'm almost, and there are gonna be some in here that have logos, but I'm shying away from logos just because I feel like it's very apparent in an outfit and I like to, I was telling my mom like, oh, I like to fly under the radar. And she was like, oh yeah, miss like designer handbags. And I was like, well, you know, things like this, I'm adding more into my wardrobe because it only has a little bit of branding here. It's just embossed right on the leather and that's it. So other than that, if I wear it this way, especially in the city, um, if I'm feeling like I'm in a sketchy area, then it's not even showing. And I feel like this is a bag that people don't really know that it's Saint Laurent unless you know the brand. So this is another one you guys will see a ton on my Instagram and you will also notice that the feet stickers are still on this just in case, just in case, just in case she ever needs to be put down anywhere. Okay so moving right along in this category I have picked up a white one in the same size but I think this is a different model so this is the one that is a little bit more slouchy. It has grained leather and it's in this like sort of off-white color I'm obsessed with this. I think it's a really nice winter white color, especially since I wear a lot of black in the winter. I love a black and white combination. And I've honestly been getting so much use out of this considering the fact that I got it in September or 
Is it October? Uh, no, it was in October. It was end of October that I got this bag and I've actually been wearing it a lot. So this one's a lot softer than the Croco version just because of the leather and the style of it is, like I said, that little slouchier look. Never would I have thought that I would get so much use out of a white bag, but I already have been. And honestly, I feel like this is something that Natasha Richardson, rest in peace, would have carried. And I feel like she just was so classy and chic all the time. So that's what I thought of when I saw this bag. And that's why I decided to pick this one up. And then the last one, who is missing a dust bag. And it's honestly a shock to me because I've been storing this in a dust bag. We have this green number. This I was not sure about for a very long time. And I'm actually really glad that I ended up picking it up. I... I'm like a green fiend right now. I don't really know why, like olive green and forest green. I think it's because it's Christmas time and everything's decorated in green and red. So I'm just loving the greenery and you guys can definitely see that on my Instagram right now. It's basically everywhere. I also got green on my nails the other day for Christmas. So yeah, I picked up the green version of this bag. I think if you have one in your collection in your entire life, you will be set to go. But these last two were just add-ons because I already love the silhouette of the bag. And I love this size compared to the larger one that I have or using the super small one just because I feel like it's the most practical for my lifestyle. So the green is very, very pretty. It's a nice different tone, but it's also super dark that it's not going to be a color that's, you know, sticking out a lot in an outfit. So I thought this one was beautiful, mainly for the color because I already knew I liked the silhouette. And, you know, you just can't go wrong with the sac du jour. I just feel like they are such a good, like, structured, classic handbag to have in your wardrobe. All right, the next one, I did promise we have some more budget-friendly ones, and this is my $40 Bottega dupe from Amazon. But this is a dupe, it's $40. I have used this endlessly. My sister has bought this bag, three of my friends have bought this bag, my mom's friend wants this bag. Um, someone else also at a bar was like, oh my god, I love your Bottega, and I was like, it's not Bottega, it's 40 bucks. And anytime I tell someone that, they're like, wow, because a lot of the people well, that I've seen love the concept of this bag and the idea of it, but not the fact that it's Bottega, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think it would have mattered what designer made it. I think it's just a really cool bag. So getting it at 40 bucks is just like unbeat. It has a, is unbeat a word? I don't know. Can't be beat. Just correcting myself just in case. So this is a crossbody bag and it has the little triangle on it. The gold on this does look a little bit, I don't know, not high quality, but it was 40 bucks. The other thing I have to mention to you guys, taking it with a grain of salt because I have worn this bag a million times, the loop on the back is starting to unstitch. So that's just something that I can obviously do myself. This is also not real leather. It's just something that is a really good everyday essentials bag, kind of like can be used interchangeably with my pull-on bag. So if you guys don't even want to spend that much on a handbag, then this is a really good alternative. And it has a very easy magnetic closure here. And that's probably one of my favorite features is that you could just flap it shut and you're good to go. So definitely a good bag to wear as an everyday bag. And especially if you're someone who is a little bit more rough with their bags, that's a good one because you can always replace it. Okay, so moving on to the coach section of this video. I'm just going to put a disclaimer out there that both of these bags are not available online anymore, but I just wanted to mention them because I get so much use out of this little thing and Coach does a really, really, really great job of making minimal and essential bags for your wardrobe and the price point is around like four to $500, I would say, for something of this size. And I think it's completely reasonable. The quality of them is really, really nice. I love the branding on them too. They also do this sort of like brushed gold hardware that you guys can see throughout my handbag collection. And they're just very functional and also very like cute. I don't know. So I have this tabby top handle bag. I copied this off of my friend Christina who had gotten it in white and I just fell in love with the black. So honestly, if the white was still available, I would consider getting it because it's so freaking cute. But this one is a top handle bag, as you guys saw, but then it also comes with a long strap. If you can find this on Pin uh, Pinterest, on Poshmark, I definitely highly recommend getting it. There are a ton of them. I looked maybe two weeks ago because I had someone ask me and I just sent the link to the Pinterest listing because I don't know who in their right mind would get rid of this bag. It literally is perfect for daytime, nighttime wear, event wear. I wore this to my boyfriend's company Christmas party. It's a great bag that can look formal, but also casual. So I don't think I will ever get rid of this one. And 
Moving on to the second coach number, which doesn't have a dust bag because I also bought this on the tail end of it being available. I picked up this bag right before I moved and that probably wasn't the smartest thing because I had to spend money on furniture, but it was on sale. So what can I say? And I went to the coach store, tried on this bag in all black and tried it on with brown and white piping or border. And couldn't decide. I was like, let me just get the black. And then I went home and searched the Coach Hero bag and found this color. So I originally was like dying over the brown with the white border, but I was like, I don't know how much I can use that. I know it would still look nice with an all black outfit, but I kind of want to wear it with different things. And I don't think that the white's really going to work with everything because when it's like a cool tone white like that, it's kind of hard to match things. So I found this one on like Dillard's or something random like that and it was on sale for like $230. The black one I think was, I think it was full price. So I just found this one. I went back to the sales associate and I was like, I'm so sorry, but I found like the best of both worlds where we combined the black one and the brown with the white border and this one is just exactly what I wanted. This is my way of finding a budget friendly Louis Vuitton vibe because it has these sort of like brown tones in it also kind of like Fendi tones as well but it's obviously way more affordable and something like this I just love with black as you guys can see I've worn it with cream you can wear it with white so there are a lot of options with this one definitely a little bit more limited obviously than wearing an all black bag but I love that I can add in a brown and black combo into my handbag collection because I don't have anything like this and we'll move on to another one that being said because this one is also some color in my handbag collection. So if you guys are keeping track, we've had the white one, the, oh, I'm just dropping it. The white one, the, I just had it on the tip of my, the white one, the green one, the brown one. And now we have this chestnut brown from Polen as well. And this is my Parisian dreams come true in a handbag. So it's a little bucket bag and you guys, I was very hesitant about this, but when I shot with it, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like such a lady while carrying this. It's the perfect camel shade. I know they make one a little bit lighter, I think, and there's maybe a brown one that's darker. So I'll link this exact color that I have, but it's such a fun shape. I think it adds such a chic element to an outfit. And I do have to say that this probably isn't the most practical in terms of like, you know, it's very easy to open and like stick your hand in here, but obviously like the shape of it is a little bit odd. So I would just want to mention that if you guys are looking to get this one, um, it has an adjustable little drawstring here. The strap has this or around the bag. It has this contrast stitching with the cream stitching. And I love that it's a crossbody. It also has a top handle. I feel like those are the most versatile bags, the ones that you can wear crossbody if you're going shopping and you're carrying a bunch of stuff or if you're running errands and you just don't want to carry your bag, but then also you can carry it by the top handle if you're looking to have a little bit more of like a chic ladylike style. So I love how feminine this one is. It definitely adds in a very European look to my wardrobe. And I honestly love that accessories can do that. It's like you can have a completely like street style look and then add something in with this sort of theme and it just changes the whole outfit. So again, I love Polen for the durability. This one also is a grained leather and my other one, I don't know what it is, but it's not grained leather. And they're both super durable and um, you can kind of whack them around if you want to. <laughs> um, okay, so moving back to, I don't even know what, okay. So we'll finish out the video with the Saint Laurent numbers. And I ended up picking up a Reeve Gauche tote. This color, guys, the chokehold that olive green has on my life right now is a little bit upsetting. And I'm the first to admit it, but how pretty is this khaki color? I use this as a work bag and I'm very, very careful with it. It fits two laptops because I have my personal laptop and my work lap laptop that I have carried around in this. It fits my water bottle, my lunch, everything. I mean, I double bag my lunch just in case you guys were wondering because the inside is canvas. It does have a zip pocket in the back and it snaps shut, but I will never be able to snap these shut because of the amount of stuff that I can fit in here. And then I just end up carrying the bag open. So 
that is one thing to mention is that you will probably carry it open but there's that zip pocket for things to be a little bit more secure it fits on my shoulder and you can also carry it obviously by the handles which is a bit of a pain in the butt but i don't mind it when i'm going up to work i have like a 25 minute commute so it's really not that bad um fits a lot the only thing i would also mention is that these handles are white leather so just be weary of that and then all of this canvas here can most likely be cleaned with folex but yeah i don't know i fell in love with this color i thought that it was super cute so as soon as i saw it i was like oh that is going to be an immediate yes okay second to last is a sunset bag from ysl and this is a new one to the collection so it's in this kind of burgundy-ish like dark brown embossed leather i thought that this would be beautiful for a dinner bag it has like a nice little sheen to it so it looks a little bit more expensive but this leather again is coated so it's super durable has a pocket in the back and i loved this brushed gold hardware with this color i thought it looked so classy so it kind of looks like a little bit brown in this lighting but there's a little red tint to it and I loved that it was a really dark color that could almost be mistaken as black, but it's a little bit different at the same time because it isn't. <laughs> um, and I think it might be brown because the lining is brown and the inside of it is smooth leather and it does look brown. So we'll call this brown, but I again loved this for a dinner bag. Obviously you can wear something like this casually and crossbody it, but for some reason I just, I wore this to dinner already and I think that's what I wanted to mainly wear it as. So perfect little dinner bag you can fit your phone in here but like i have the 11 pro max and it just fits in here so i mean if you have like i guess the androids are bigger than that i don't think the iphones are but if you guys have a larger phone then i would just be a little bit weary of that because this is the sunset i think it's the sunset small and you'll be able to tell because i have the sunset medium as the last bag this one may have been in my last video, but you can kind of see the size difference here with the Sunset Small and the Sunset Medium. This is definitely a really, really good practical bag also because it fits so much. This is something that looks very small. Like if you're holding it up to my body, it does not look that big, but the way that it expands on the bottom, and I think I actually know, I think I did a handbag review video on this um fits so much inside there's a front pocket it has the same structure as the other one it's literally just a size bigger um i have it in this sort of like textured leather it's not i don't know if it's smooth leather because it does have some sort of like grain going through it but it's very very durable you can wear this crossbody or on your shoulder this is also one that i think you can dress up and down and i just think that it looks very very classy so these are the ones that are like more logo heavy in my collection and then the Sac de Jours and the Polen and what other one? The Coach ones have like a little bit more of like a minimal logo on them. So these are the most logo heavy in my collection, but I do honestly love them. If I want to add a little bit of hardware to an outfit, then these are absolutely perfect. And like I said, the leather is very durable, so it just will stand the test of time and give you that like casual but very like chic shape if you're looking to add something like that into your collection. Okay, you guys, so I just ran through, I think there are 15 bags here, which is insane. I have some at home that you guys have seen in my last handbag video. And if you guys haven't seen that, I will link that down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything. If you have any questions on any of the brands or the models or colors and textures and materials and all that kind of stuff, then feel free to leave a comment down below or you guys can DM me over on my Instagram. I'm basically wearing all of these bags and at least one picture on there. So you can just DM me on that one if you guys have questions. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all and I will see you in my next one.